You've got questions and we've got answers. Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, answering the questions that new leaders ask us. Actually, our goal is to help all leaders become more productive, successful, and confident. In this episode, we're talking about enthusiasm and leadership. Are you ready? Let's get started. I was asked this question. As a brand new leader, Kevin, uh, how important is enthusiasm in my role? Well, I'd say it's pretty important, uh, but there's more to say to it than just that, so let me give you a few thoughts. Uh, here's the first. The first is that people are watching you. So whatever your attitude is, whatever your behaviors are, if they would be characterized as enthusiastic or uh, uh, negative or somewhere in the middle, whatever that is, is something that people are noticing right? It's something that matters and people are noticing. It may only be subconscious, but they're noticing. People are watching you and they're paying attention to your attitude and your behaviors. Why? Because at some level, they know that's what's expected of them. Second, enthusiasm is contagious. You'd agree with that, right? That enthusiasm is contagious? It is. It's especially contagious from you because you're the boss and they're watching you, like I already said. But guess what? While enthusiasm is contagious, so is the opposite. So the question would be, how important is enthusiasm? Well, it's pretty darn important because you'd rather have that on your team than the opposite, right? You'd rather have a positive, uplifting set of uh, kind of energy in your team than sort of a Eeyore, oh well, woe is me sort of attitude. And if people are getting their clue from you and they're getting that contagion from you, then it's important that you bring some of that, right? And guess what? Enthusiasm comes in different forms. Because you may be with me so far, but you're saying, Kevin, I'm not a cheerleader. I'm not an enthusiastic person. Maybe like you think I am. Well, here's the point. Enthusiasm comes in different forms, and it isn't about rah-rah necessarily. What it really needs to be come from a deep belief and understanding and caring about the work. And that can, that can come across in a quiet way. That can come across in an excitable, rah-rah sort of way. Enthusiasm is about you being sold on the work, you being sold on the team, and you caring enough to let your passion show through in the way that's genuine for you. This isn't about doing something you're not comfortable with, but it is important to recognize that whatever you're bringing to the workplace is what other people's are people are taking with them. And lastly... Moderation, but no apologies. There's probably a time and a place to not go overboard and be like, wah, with people, right? And yet there shouldn't be any apologies either if, you're, if you are excited and that you care and you want to get people's energy level up. Moderation, perhaps, especially if you're really pumped. A little bit may be more than you need. You gotta look at where your team is and what do they need right now. Maybe they need a lot, maybe they need a little, but you certainly don't need to apologize if where you're at and your enthusiasm level is very different than theirs because recognize that even if they're sort of in a humdrum, routine place, it is your energy, it is your enthusiasm that can break them from that moderation, but no apologies. Enthusi How important is enthusiasm to you in your role as a leader? Very. How that plays out, we've talked about. But think about and recognize that enthusiasm is contagious and you'd rather have that energy on your team than the opposite, right? Bring that with you. Bring that to your team. Offer that to your team. And you have a chance to help everyone be more successful. And that leads us to today's tweet. Enthusiasm is contagious. As a leader, bring your natural enthusiasm to your work and watch it multiply. Well, I hope this question and my answer was useful to you, and I hope that you'll share it with others, and, and really, I hope you'll go to our site, Bud to Boss, to learn more. We've got all sorts of resources and tools there to help all leaders be more successful, uh, whether that's for you, whether that's for other leaders in your organization. We want to help you on that transition from Bud to Boss.